the winner of the 2024 Archibald Prize in an amount of $100,000 is Laura Jones for her portrait of Tim Wilson. Well done, Laura. Congratulations. Wow, I'm very nervous. Give me a sec. <laughs> I never expected to be the winner of the Archibald Prize. I was shocked, so happy and humbled. I'm only the 12th woman to win the Archibald Prize. As a little girl in Currajong, I dreamed about being an artist. I've been lucky enough to make that dream come true. More than any other event, today shows that I wasn't completely crazy. I approached Tim Winton for this Archibald Prize after watching the Ningaloo Reef documentary that he made. Like so many Australians, I've been enchanted by his work, but it was really that documentary that showed me that we had such a shared interest in wild places and what they can teach us about conservation and the state of the planet. After Tim said yes, I flew to Fremantle and we had a lovely long conversation and took a couple of photos, did a little watercolor study. So this portrait is really a painting of the watercolour that I made after I met him. So I always paint in a pretty big scale. I'm mostly a very gestural painter, so I quite like working big so I can really get those lovely big brush strokes and energy onto the canvas. I wanted it to be quite direct, but a bit dreamy when it came to his face. He's quite a humble man. I wanted to show his humility in his stance. He's as shy in front of the camera as I am, I think. So uh, I really tried to convey that in the pose. He's a timeless character in my mind and I didn't want it to be stuck in one moment or place or landscape, not really in the past, present or future. He's just moving through time. I've been passionate about the environment since I was a child growing up near the Blue Mountains and Tim was so inspiring to me because he sort of showed that, you know, not all is lost. I hope that my painting reminds everyone of what an incredible and inspiring human being he is. He has fought so hard to save Ningaloo Reef. And he said about Ningaloo that it's a place that could teach us how to get things right if we just pause a moment and listen. Mm -hmm.